Hola, gringos y gringas. Hello, bienvenidos, <laughs> and welcome to Gringos R Us. This is going to be a little bit of a different video while we prepare the rest of our content regarding moving to Mexico. Some of the things that are going to be coming are going to be shows about getting paperwork ready, the things that you need to do, and some of the things we have found out in doing so that we didn't know and suddenly went, oops, we got to get this taken care of. Oh, yes. that we're about to show you was just a little bit of a I guess a lifestyle piece just a feature of something that we did on the island we took a walk to a typical big box grocery store and for this particular brand of grocery stores this was a small one yes yeah it was a small Shadrui store um, on the island of Ila Mujeres while we were there and the walk was easier for some than it was for the others but we made it there, and we're going to show you what we found. Enjoy. Have fun. Yes, yes. Yes. And I am an old man. <laughs> Mark had a little bit of difficulty. He's used to having a body pillow to support uh, between his knees. He had to slept with one for a couple of nights, and then we go to do this walk. It's only a mile and a half, and um, he was having some major issues. Normally, she can't keep up with me, and I was having problems keeping up with her. Yes, he usually walks twice as fast as me. And we're walking along, and these children are singing. Full throat. That's the public school. <laughs> the luchadora also. <laughs> Hair's pretty awesome. So we're almost to the Shedrawi. This has been a very fun, colorful walk through some vibrant painted buildings. The vibrant colors of the casas. And everybody smiles when you greet them. Yes. Hola, senor. Thank God. And as soon as we walked in, all I could think of is this place looks like Walmart. And it didn't occur to me that when we went over to the pharmacy and the health and beauty that I should be doing a lot of this, and I neglected to do so. It was a fairly small section, but fairly well stocked. The most amazing thing about onions in Mexico is they peel them for you. Saboyos. Thank you. <laughs> Huevos mm. are stored at room temperature. The United States is one of the few countries that actually refrigerate their eggs.
and the produce was so affordable. So see, now I can see the watermelon on the back back there. I totally missed the apples, bananas, and any other fruit that they have, which you said you did see. Mm -hmm. I also missed any vegetables they had. Along the wall. Mm. They were along the one wall, then you had the meat wall. Notice that they call this basically chicken breast Americano. Ribeye. Not in Spanish. It's in English. Ribeye. T-bone. And filet. But filet is in Spanish, the way they had it spelled. And you will find just about everything that we find in our own meat counters here, there. Along with some other things that we don't really find. Such as tons and tons of chorizo. A lot of chorizo. We did put the conversion on there so you'll be able to tell because everything here is either is in the metric system so it's either kilograms or, or per liters. Ace detergent is it's made by Procter and Gamble. It is tied. It's tied. And the Priscil, which is I'm spoiled rotten, that is my favorite laundry soap. The Priscil is half, maybe even one third of what it costs in the United States. That is correct. The fabric softeners tend to be all liquid. We did not see any of the aroma beads that you add. I didn't notice dryer sheets either. I didn't either. Yeah. The cereals are very similar and they and the the price range between them is just as it is here. The more wholesome and healthy it is, the more expensive it is. But a lot of the cereal was less than $2 a box. Oh, good for some of us. <laughs> and right next to the cereal is the milk because they put it on the shelf. You don't refrigerate your milk until after you open it. They use a press pasteurization process that's different than what we use in the United States. A lot of really good coffee beans actually come from Mexico, so I'm going to be excited about that. Sugar is a thing that I really pay attention to. It's hard for me to find white refined sugar, and I never seem to find powdered or confectionery sugar. Now, their sugar, the Morena sugar, is like a very light, light brown natural sugar, and they have a dark brown sugar. And then as you can see, there's lots of varieties of different types of sugar alternatives. Mount Olive Pickles, honey. From Mount Olive, North Carolina. <laughs> there's there's, yeah, there's can. the canned vegetable section. They tend to eat fresh. Yep. That was it. Less than four feet of all their canned veggies. The um, I didn't find ketchup, but I know they have it because I went to Shadrawi's website. They do sell ketchup and they sell Heinz ketchup. The ketchup is actually in with the salsas. Okay. Not with the mustards and the mayonnaises like okay. we do here. Because they call it salsa ketchup. See. Si. They love their mayonnaises. <laughs> There's all kinds of mayonnaise. If you're from the South and like Dukes, you're out of luck. Hellman's is what you get. <laughs> Snacks very similar to what we see here and the juices a lot of juices yes the so soda or the soft drinks or pop are sold in three liter bottles so they look smaller but that's deceiving they're actually just really tall and the alcohol lots and lots <laughs> and lots <laughs> and lots of alcohol Hey, baby. Hey, hey. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kahlua. 
Bailey's. I can't even see my Bacardi. I mean, there's just mm, this is price not... wise. It was for a lot of it. If if you're brand specific, a lot of it's the same price. I'm a big cider drinker, so I was excited to see some Strongbow. And, and that some... was a lot less expensive. Yeah. And then we've got our Thomas's English muffins and bagels cooler. I'm also a big cheese aficionado, and uh, and I'm big on Stilton, Wensley Dill, and Cambazola. I didn't find any of those. However, uh, they did have a, a nice selection of other very popular type cheeses, like the Camembert, and there's Brie, and there's various types of Blue. Um, I really didn't see a lot of anything in the cheddar department. So I'm going to keep looking. I'm sure that I will find certain cheeses that I like somewhere, even if I have to buy them from an importer. And one must remember, this is not the largest Chidrui that there is either. True, it's a small one. These ice creams, I was fascinated by the containers you know, in the United States, we have oval, half-gallon type tubs, and we have rectangular, rectangular bricks. And these are like, it's like 32 ounce drinking glasses or something. They had about four doors worth of different uh, ice creams and novelties. It's a nice selection. Oh, fresh tortillas. Just rolling off this conveyor belt. I was fascinated with this entire process. And this pan was just scooping up stacks and wrapping them up to put under the heat lamp for sale. And he noticed that I was recording. And he did the nicest thing. Gracias, senor. Fresh tortilla. Mm, so Still good. warm. Oh, the pastries. Some of them were savory. Some had beans in them. Some had a meat in them. A lot of them just had something sweet in them. And these are so yummy. Concha a Maria or Conca? I don't know. Maria. This... After our last video, we're still trying to figure that out. <laughs> Is it Concha or Conca? I'm calling it concha since it ends in an A. That's just my, that's where I'm going with that. You're in the conca line. Ah, <laughs> uh, some more cheese. Hummus. I hey, there's hummus. my cheese. American cheese. I know. Look at this. American slices. Nice. And I love me some hummus. Mmm. And look, cream cheese. Got us some Philly cream cheese. I'm excited. Chip dip, honey. That's it. <laughs> Into the butters and margarines. Oh. A vast array of them. So many different types. And they weren't all like, like this one, this Flex brand. Apparently there's various colors. Uh, red and azul and whatever. And they're all meant for specific types of baking. But there was just a lot to look at and a lot to choose from. And of course they had our country crop, which we tend to prefer. If we gotta go margarine. True, I prefer butter. Parquet. Look at this. Uh, Genoa salami, yum, 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 yum. Pepperoni. Uh, Hams. We will never. Amon. Never have issues making a good pizza or a good sub. Of course, I don't know if I need all that salt, but every now and then, it, it's a really tasty deviation from a healthy diet. <laughs> and hams and lunch meat. Hams, ham and ham and ham. So much ham. They even have Virginia ham. 
<laughs> the Tower of Cheese, please. I put me some cheese whiz on my cheese steak. And I love Parm. I didn't see Romano. And I really like my Romano, too. Back on. So much bacon. And they had turkey bacon. And we're back into those hot dogs again. They really like the hot dogs. And look at the size of these packages. That seemed like the standard. Yes. Looks like when they cook hot dogs, they cook hot dogs. Yum. Okay, so now we're getting into the regional cheeses. These are mostly cheeses that come from various states in Mexico. So you know, being the cheese lover, I'm going to have to try every one of these and find me a good replacement for cheddar. Mmm, blue cheese. It's already molding. I know. Yum. Ooh. Mark is not into the cheese like I'm into cheese. He's got his favorites, but um... Wow, this, I thought it was coffee creamer. Mark had to tell me no. It's peanut e cocoa yogurt drink. Yum. Pineapple and coconut. And so that's where we are. We are at the yogurt smoothies and yogurts section. And there's a lot to choose from. Yogurt fans will not have a problem finding what they want. And I would think with the fresh fruit that is available, you mm. should have no problems. So now we get to the part of the tour <laughs> where it's kind of like a Walmart, but then it's maybe more like a Costco or a Sam's. Um, or Home Depot. Or Home Depot. They actually have appliances. And there's this new fad in Mexico now with a washer-dryer combination machine that will both wash and dry your clothes. I don't believe any of these are those. I think there was one on the other side. But um, often you'll find a washing machine, sometimes a dryer. Often you'll find a washing machine and maybe a line to hang your clothes on. And for the small families. Look at this itty bitty little washing machine. It's adorable. And Mark is saying that this is one of those ones that might do both, wash and dry, but I found it fascinating that it had this little small section to the side. Like, what's that for? The, the rag you forgot to throw in? The stoves with ovens. Stoves with ovens. We have found frequently, about 50% of the time, Airbnbs don't come with ovens. You really need to request an oven if you have to have an oven. The older colonial style homes the kitchens don't always have them they're going to have a cooktop but you're not going to be guaranteed that you're going to have an oven so they obviously they also sell these cooktops but like you can get electric or gas cooktops and often that's what you will have and with the price of electricity gas is very popular in mexico yes but yeah here we are we've got the keurigs T-File seems to be a really big brand. Oster. The refrigerators tend to be narrow and not as tall. Um, I don't think that their style of cooking and storing food is the same as what we do here in the States. They don't tend to go once every couple of weeks. Right. They go multiple times to the Mercado and get fresh. Right. Now, this particular refrigerator that I'm looking at inside, I was curious because it has a water dispenser and you you take your Garifon and there should be a reservoir in there that you fill up so that you can dispense water. Lots of fans, all kinds of fans. And some little air conditioning units. Uh, we noticed that the televisions tend to be 
about comparable to the pricing we pay in the United States. The biggest difference is they seem to max out at about 55 inches, so you're not going to find the 75 and 85 as easily as you do here in the States. We always want to go bigger is better, and so we go for the biggest, baddest things that we can <laughs> put out there. And I'm not entirely sure what the resolution was for these. If they were HD, 4K, whatnot. No, they're HD. Were they? Yes. But they weren't 4K. I see? didn't see, but then I don't know if they were playing 4K. True. And these speakers are everywhere. It, I mean, they're so popular now. I've even seen these at Sam's Club up here, so... Walking around, checking out the clothes. I was meandering at this point, honestly. These are all the areas that we had sort of bypassed in the middle of the store while we were looking at food and the appliances. And this is a very small Shadrawi. It is. Uh, you know, this is not typical. We were at a Walmart in Playa del Carmen and it was probably double the size of this. Easily. Of this, yes. Easily. This is not completely representative of all grocery stores, but we thought it would give a good idea of what you can find. And we were here looking for butane to fill Mark's lighter torch up. The checkout lines were very narrow. They're down by the bathrooms and right in the front of the store they had all the garrafons and tires. And then we were on our way out. Next week we're going to do another one of our segments that will be more on what you're looking for. Check back next week and we will be back on topic. Adios. Hasta la vista, bebe. <laughs>